Hello Galactic Family, we continue to receive ongoing downloads of light. There is no timetable for the downloads. They occur at perfect moments individually for each of us. Some downloads flow easily, while others seem to take our breath away. However you experience them is divinely orchestrated for you. Many of us are guided to go within and stop all outward busyness. Meditation and silence as well as nature are essential tools. More than they have been in the past. Still, there are those who continue their attachment to the outer world looking for answers or some sort of guidance. Guidance is found in the quiet times. The times of non-attachment. We can do both. Be still and continue to observe the outer world. The key here is observation and detachment. I see the outer chaos as a positive sign that all is proceeding as it is intended to. Remember the transformation requires a breakdown before a breakthrough. And a breakthrough is seen in some scenarios, is it not? If one seeks security outside of themselves, they may very well be disappointed. For the only true security is found within. We think security comes from our paycheck or our relationships or our bank account, yet this is little security and it changes and shifts. What may seem secure in one moment is gone in the next. This little view of lower ego security certainly can bring up fear, can it? If one can stay centered in their own security soul essence, no matter what the outer is doing, they feel safe. Outer security definitely brings up insecurity. And this too is a gift, for it gives each being an opportunity to release these old and limiting energies of insecurity, not feeling safe and fear out in the open for release. Realize too that the energy of insecurity comes from lifetimes of old rules, separation and the fear of not being safe. Even the chaos of our present time world is a gift for it helps us identify where we hold fear, judgment, paranoia, discrimination and all things that keep separation alive and well. As we release these energies of separation, we find peace within. When we feel peaceful, we shine our light out, which touches all. Our perspective shifts. We see things differently and through the eyes of Source. We see that the world is not an unsafe place but truly a place of love. The old matrix paradigm is for sure crumbling. This crumbling is a positive thing, for it leads to the new eventually. When one can be in the center of peace, they shift their perspective to see the good in even what the old mindset would judge as bad. As frequencies rise, the light shines on all that is not love and this is all that is separate in life. If one would look closer and deeper, they would see the truth that is beneath the rubble and that is love and transformation. It is only when one is attached to how something should be that there is pain. When we let go of old assumptions and not wanting things to change, we are free. What is transformation and how can we be sure that it leads to something better? Transformation is a complete shift from the old to the new. It depends on what you hold in your heart. If you don't think anything will change, you hold doubt in your heart. If you trust that love is truly all there is, then love is in your heart. We know that we create through consciousness. When love is your consciousness, then that is all that can be created. When fear is your consciousness, then that is what is created. Again, we choose. First comes the choice and then commitment to that choice and from commitment is being that which you choose to be in everything you say, do and feel. Through consciousness, we create the new earth. Is it love you choose or fear? Is this easy? I would say no unless you truly flow with what is. When you flow with what is, you accept that which is hindering you so that you can let it go. We have had lifetimes of fear and persecution, which has created a heavy boulder of fear and unsafety within. It is our choice to release this and it may not be quick, for there are many layers that go deep. However, 
If one begins to let go of this old dark energy, they you feel lighter and freer, even when there are more and more layers to release. Along with releasing this old fear and insecurity, it is also important to realize that much of the ancient civilizations that many hold as something to emulate, were rife with separation rules, roles, expectations, etc. It is best to let it all go, including the illusions you hold dear, and allow the new to unfold. So not only do we release our personal histories, we may choose to release our cultural histories as well, including all the illusions within those histories. This is a big task, so deep do these go and our love for them. As we cleanse, we also cleanse the earth. This most likely feels huge to you as well and you may encounter much resistance within you. Yet unless we let go of everything, the new is delayed. We are creating positive change. It may seem daunting and even impossible, yet it truly is happening. The more we commit to this personally, the more things in the world shift. As a way to affirm this, just look at your life, the world and how your body has shifted. Those of us who are ultra-sensitive feel much in our bodies and as we shift, our bodies feel this physically. Much of how we have experienced this physical shifting has changed for some. They may include or not, for everyone is unique in their experience a sense of not being in your body feeling ungrounded, dizzy, etc., different experiences in digestion and elimination, fluctuations of emotions some may feel depressed when they never have before, lack of motivation to do much of anything, sleeping patterns vary widely, and these are just a few and meant to confirm your ascension and let you know that you might not even notice that you are shifting, for all is slow to help us acclimate to the energies, although it may not seem slow at all. As sensitivity expands, you notice things you have not noticed before. Your awareness becomes more acute and your senses are accentuated, as is your intuitive knowing. Realize too that a lot of what you experience are not only the downloads of light, but you are also detoxing the old from your cells, tissues, organs, bones and muscles. You may still be in the old habit of wondering if it was something you ate or some malady you picked up. This is old thinking and a way to continue an old pattern of complaint and blame. The ultra-sensitive ones truly are required to keep their solar plexus clear, as it is easy to take on others' toxins and old beliefs. Ask your body what it needs without following old rules of what's good or bad for you. Your body will respond to you. And if you bump into things or stub your toe or something like that, your message is to slow down, ground and be in the present moment. Our true selves want nothing but the best for us as us, and so anything that interferes with that will be problematic, which is a way of saying that we simply cannot exist in the old any longer, so shift to where you flow instead of blindly following yourself or culturally imposed rules that surely limit you. Being authentic means to be who you are everywhere you are and by me saying be who you are, I mean your soul self. I wonder how many of us are truly authentic, since we have been molded by culture and family values and beliefs. At times, it is self-loving to set boundaries in order to be authentically you. In time, there will be no need for boundaries, as all those around us accept fully who we are. Being authentic is being love and there is no greater truth than this. Some of us have been having lots of memories of the past. These memories come up because they are releasing, yet many want to hold on to them, because it's better than having nothing to hold on to now. Let them go. As we let the memories go, with them we release beliefs and patterns and old ways of being. It's best not to cling to them for comfort. Find your comfort within. Have faith. Trust in what is here now in this moment. Allow all to surface even memories you have deemed bad or good. It all comes up to be loved and then released. With the release comes greater love. 
if you are concerned about not finding your tribe, since this seems to be a popular notion, realize that your tribe will not be found by seeking, but by being authentically yourself. If you find you don't relate with anyone, let it be alright. A tribe is just a word that symbolizes a longing to belong. You belong to a bigger energy, so honor who and where you are. There is nothing wrong with you if you find you cannot relate to anyone or to just a few. Treasure those you find resonates with and let the rest go. As we continue to receive more light and we continue to let go of what is not love, we are also blessed with synchronistic meetings and surprising events that are joyful and meaningful. These connections help you evolve more as the love you are, helping you be more. Continue to follow the energy. What expands, expands you. What contracts, contracts you. In this way, you are divinely guided to be who you are meant to be. Pay attention to where and to whom you resonate. Your heart and soul know the way, while your intellect will hold you back in the past.